Exploring Chiropractic, episode 50, Universidad Central del Caribe, con Francisco y Laura. Welcome back to Exploring Chiropractic. I'm your host, Dr. Nathan Cashin, and my guests today are two students from the Universidad Central del Caribe, a brand new chiropractic program in Puerto Rico. I'm so excited to chat with them about this new program. There are three terms in, uh, just finishing up anatomy, and uh, we talk all about how the school started, what it's like going to school in Puerto Rico, can uh, international students go, is this a party school <laughs> or, uh, or is it evidence-based versus philosophy. So we talk about all of these things and it was really great to chat with them and I'm so glad to come back to the original purpose of this podcast, which is talking to students at chiropractic schools around the world. So, excited to bring this to you in episode 50. I hope you enjoy the show. Laura and Francisco, thank you for joining me on the podcast. I'm really excited to learn about a new chiropractic college in the Caribbean. This is yeah. so cool. Um, so, Laura, where are you from and what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, hello. Um, I am from Maya West, Puerto Rico. And when I wanted to grow up, I knew I wanted to do something related to medicine uh, to help other people. So I ended up here in the first chiropractic college in Puerto Rico. Cool. And Francisco, uh, where are you from? And what did you want to be when you grew up? I'm from San Juan. And since little, I either wanted to be a vet or a doctor. Okay. I was always like health related. Yeah. But as I grew older, then I, I went towards medicine more and then changed to chiropractic. All right. So you didn't want to work with animals? No, it's more that there's no actual school in Puerto Rico for uh, a vet. Okay. So that, that kind of switched a little bit. That That's makes it harder. Yeah, yeah. You have a friend who is a vet and they always joke. Um, so I'm a chiropractor. My wife's a, a medical doctor. And they say, you guys are just a doctor for one species. <laughs> veterans you know, have to deal with so multiple much. species yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so how did you guys then you both wanted to be in healthcare but but how did chiropractic become an option at least for me um, I am not really into putting so much chemicals in my body and that's where it started um, and everybody was like you want to be a doctor and you don't want to take medicine and well so i ended up investigating about other health uh professions so and there i saw chiropractic um and i started investigating more and more and i just fell in love so here i am all right francisco how did you decide on chiropractic well, in my case i had uh, an injury in my upper back and no amount of therapy or visits to doctors help. And then my father, who visited a chiropractor, and my father himself is a doctor, he went like, maybe we should try this. And he took me, and in a couple of weeks to a month, I got better. I had a immobilization of like my back and some of my arms, because I had scar tissue really holding me down. And he just started breaking all that scar tissue, and I regained mobility and everything, and that's how I kind of rotated towards chiropractic because yeah. it's not that the doctors didn't help me. It's just I didn't respond to that treatment. And I responded to the hands-on of the chiropractic treatment. And that kind of blew my mind away. In that that's sense. cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Um, yeah, so many people have a story like that. Um, now, the school is new, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Universidad Central del Caribe right mm -hmm. and it's just outside of uh san juan puerto rico yes uh when did it start we're actually the first class so it started in 2018 
we started classes in July, 2018. In July. So are you guys doing quarter system or, or trimester? How's it working? We're, it's kind of a block type thing. We're taking four blocks this first year, but it's around three to four months per se, each block. Okay. It's kind of trimester, but sometimes it ta- it, it's a little longer. Okay, interesting. Three months. Yeah, and do you go year round? Yeah, we started on July and we're finishing on June at the moment. Okay, so there's no like long summer break. No. Uh, we have a month. We have July, July kind of free. Yeah. But then we start back in, in August. August. And then well, yeah. in between the other blocks, how long do you have? No. Almost no. No, no time. Really? No. Yeah. So you Maybe have finals, and then you really, and then you just have like a day, sometimes, or a weekend, and then you're back to the next. Block. Exactly, exactly. It's more like a weekend. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, which block are you in now? The third. In the third. When does this one finish? Next week or so. Yeah. Or in, uh, we're in, finishing. In the next ten days or so, yeah. ten, twelve days. Okay. And then you got some final exams, yeah. And yeah. then. All right. How have those block. been going? So this this will be like your third set of final exams. Yes. And uh, have they been pretty intense or? Yeah, yeah. they're intense. <laughs> anatomy has been pretty intense. Yeah, anatomy especially. Okay. Did, anatomy started in the first block. Uh no, no it started the third in the third block. in December. Oh really? So you have two blocks where you're doing other basic sciences, and then you yeah. only just started anatomy now, huh? Yeah. Okay. We've been going hard at it. Yeah. Very cool. So what what uh, areas of the body have you been covering this block? We This block, we, everything. We went, we started in MSK. an MSK. Um, then it was... Then we went through all the systems. Cardio, res, uh, respiratory, gastro, renal. renal. We're now in... In, in the pelvic area right the now. pelvic area, yeah. Wow. And how? so like how many blocks of anatomy are you going to have? Is it we ju- finish we finish this one and in August we start advanced anatomy. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's a different way to do it. So um, a lot of places, you know, you'll uh, like my school. We did, I think, like all of the muscle, all the bones, all the muscles. We start, and then you might get into the organs in another semester in the nervous system. I know another school, I think it was uh, Palmer, Florida, when they were, do, at least when they first started, like they just did one semester all on the head. <laughs> right? okay. So they do like wow. skin, muscles, bone, nervous system, and then they go to the torso and they do everything from the torso. It sounds like you guys kind of did a big overview of the whole body, and then you're going to come back in the advanced course and do more and more detail. Yeah. Is that kind of how it works? Well, we but we did do nerves and arteries and yes. mm-hmm. all of we've, that. We've given everything. It's just not muscles and bones. We gave the muscle, the bone, the nerve that innervate it, uh-huh. vascularity, everything. Wow. Yeah. So it's that's intense, it's, yeah. It's the whole package, basically. That sounds intense. Yes. It is. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, so just briefly, what other courses have you done so far in the program? Since first block? Yeah. You don't have to list uh, them all, but kind of what's the focus of the of the basic sciences? And biochemistry, immunology, immunology, uh, mm-hmm. physiology, genetics, genetics, oh, wow. and histology. Most of it. Okay. Yeah. And research, intruder research, because uh, the university, at least our program, is evidence based. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they want us to come out like knowing how to do research. And um, then there's the chiropractic classes per se, which is the lab mostly. And so far, you've been doing some palpation. Yes. Yeah. Any adjusting yet? Mm, not yet. On the FSTT, we've done some techniques, but not on each other still. So Francisco, tell me about this FSTT. I've I've seen it. I've seen some videos uh, on your, you know, on the school social well, media. It's. It's a. It's not a doll, but I don't remember Ma- mannequin. I think. Yeah, a mannequin or a dummy. Yeah. yeah. It it has sensors inside of it that are connected to the computer, so it senses the amount of pressure that you're giving it. It senses from neck all the way to the pelvis, so you can do in either part of the body, and it will sense it, and then it will record it, so that way you can study it if necessary as well. That way, the doctor Adorno tells us, oh, this peak is too high. You have to do lower pressure. Or this peak is too low. You have to exert more pressure. Or this buildup 
started great and then it fell down. Like it's a it's a nice way to uh, show us how to manipulate not only our strength but the technique of just instead of pushing, just pu putting our own body weight. Mm -hmm. And it's it's pretty great to be honest. That's cool. So does it work for palpation as well? Like are you are you as you're going it's through the motions, sensitive. it's so, pretty sensitive. So you know, I guess it's not just impulse. It certainly works for impulse, right? So when you're adjusting like a thoracic spine, it'll tell you how quick and how deep and all yes. that kind of stuff. It has everything. Okay. That's cool. But it yeah. also senses just even just self palpation. It, it it has the sensor for it as well. It does. Okay. So you know you're not gonna be jamming into somebody's spine. Lauer, does this? How does this? Um, affect the way that you practice and study does it make it kind of like a game oh yeah you can you can see it that way um and i prefer to do it first on the dummy than an you know, actual person uh because you know i don't want to hurt anybody <laughs> and so it's pretty cool and it's nice to know like how much uh speed and pressure you're actually putting like on a person before touching them so it's cool yeah it seems like it'd be really helpful feedback um cool. and I'm, I'm curious what you guys will think about how that um changes what you do when you're when actually doing it on a person on each other or on a patient yes because mm -hmm. patients can be so different yes you know so so does this device allow you to like set um I guess set different targets. Like if you've got a really flexible, petite patient, right? You're not going to need as much. You know, a smaller patient, you're not going to need as mm -hmm. much force as like a big bodybuilder. So, are you able to adjust for that w when you're practicing on this device? I think it it allows you to uh, get your technique better. Okay. The mannequin itself, it's it's kind of like those dummies in Sears or whatever, which are very muscular type. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like that. Okay. But since it's very sensitive, it allows you to, like you said, practice how much strength or pressure you could give to a, either a small person or uh -huh. a big guy. So yeah. We haven't gotten to that to see if it's... Yeah, we're still, we're still not doing a lot of pressure on it. Uh -huh. We're just like testing. Cool. Get some peaks, some. Cool. Um, what's your What's your daily schedule like when you So when you're in school, like how early do you have to get up, and how many classes do you have a day? Do you have a nice long lunch? What's your day today like? There's some days that, like today, it's pretty smooth, but there are some days that it's intense. Uh, I do. Yeah, we come in at eight a.m. and we come out at 6 p.m. Some days, yeah. yeah, it's long. We yeah, have just an days. hour of lunch and yeah, sometimes it's tense. But today it's it's like days like today. It's smooth. Okay. And you guys are part of a bigger university, right? You mentioned there's there is a medical program at the same school. Yeah. Yes. And I imagine other degrees that people can do. Yeah, yeah, diagnostic imaging, mm -hmm. uh, nursing. So how much interaction is there with the chiropractic students and the medical students and the nursing students? Do you guys have classes together? No. No, we do. At the moment, the, our interactions are mostly uh, from just walking on the aisles or uh -huh. on lunchtime. Because to be honest, everyone's just in their classes all the time. Like medicine, it's also taking a lot of classes. So besides those small breaks, there's really no time to mingle, if you want to say it like sure, that. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, so some other, some other international schools, like you actually take your bi basic sciences with the medical students. And so I was just wondering if, if this uh, program was similar. But it sounds like you guys have your own program, your own courses. Yeah, the thing yeah, is... because it's more... It's based on chiropractic. We st oh. They started on... They started MSK in August, and we started MSK around... December. December. Okay. So, yeah, our schedule... They've been, they've been taking MSK since August, and we started a little, so that's kind of why we didn't have the same... Schedule. So the same schedule. Or sure. Classes. All right. Um, well, tell me a little bit about the campus. 
so I know you're kind of close to San Juan, but for, you know, for students that haven't been to Puerto Rico, what's the area like? Are you near the beach? Are you in the mountains? Uh, Bayamon is a city. Yes. So uh-huh. there's, we're basically in, in a city surrounded by cement. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of so, centered. Yeah. There's no a, beaches. No beaches, no. Well, the beach, if you it's can, not that... It's not that far. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because San Juan is, is on the coast, right? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you're on an island. It's not a huge island, right? It's, exactly. How long does it take to go from end to end? Um, Five hours. Okay. Okay, maybe. so, you yeah. know. Yeah, like five hours. Yeah, six, maybe. Depends on traffic. Yeah, so it could <laughs> be a weekend <laughs> trip if you wanted, but... Um, yeah. But you mentioned San Juan is like 20, 30 minutes away, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So is it, I mean, are students just staying at school because you guys are so busy studying or, you know, I'm trying to paint a picture here for, for the Americans who are like, ah, oh, I want to go to school in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some students that live pretty far from school. Uh-huh. Yeah. On the South part of the island. Yes. And they so, take wow. one, one to two hour trips, depending on traffic. Every day. But, huh? Yes. Whew. Yeah. Yes, from start to finish, they just come and they go and go back. And sometimes you notice how tired they they get. Yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah, Versus that makes some it hard of us to... that we we just get home in like 10, 15 minutes. Right. So, you know. <laughs> um, is there housing on the campus, or do you just live around the area? Uh, there's no housing here, uh, so we live around the, the area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very interesting. So. Uh, do you guys does this uh, particular program require a bachelor's degree to begin? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's required and to come specific in. science courses as well. Okay. There's so the bachelor and have you got did you guys go to the same university for your for your bachelor's your undergraduate or no. what other no. school what other universities are in Puerto Rico or did you go outside of the country? At least I went to the University of Puerto Rico, which is the only public university here in, in Puerto Rico. I went to the Maya West campus uh, where I studied industri- industrial microbiology. That's wow, my major. I've never heard of that major. <laughs> yeah. And Francisco, it's what was yours? Yeah. I went to uh, Interamerican University, which is a private college, okay. and it has a lot of campuses all around the island as well. And I took uh, biomedical sciences there, basically. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So like a pre-med type program. Exactly. It's yeah. A pre-med okay. Type program. What's the difference in in Puerto Rico between the public and the private universities? The difference, the cost is like, yeah. At least uh, yeah, when cost I is studied, one big one. Um, it was eight hundred dollars a semester. I start my I start I started. Depends at, on the uh, credits. At, Puerto Rico's public, and by my time, it was around 1,000 to 1,200, which is a little higher than Laura's at the time. Okay. And so a pri- is a private school more expensive? Yes, it is. Okay. Just want to clarify that because in, in other career. places, I mentioned I speak Portuguese in Brazil, it's kind of the opposite. Like the public oh. schools of where you want to go. That's like where, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's different. Um, so is UCC public or private? It's private. private. It is private. Okay. And are there scholarship opportunities yet? I know it's a new program, so it may not have all this stuff established. We did get a scholarship when we entered. Yes, at the beginning um, we did get one. Thousand. Yeah, but there is, there are scholarships for hardships, um, uh, people, yeah. students with... With like, lower means? Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. And there's... Um, federal student loans also yeah so yeah so had you guys considered chiropractic before this school started or was this school opening kind of one of the big ad- advantages for you to be able to do it at least for me i'm older than francisco um i was yeah i was exploring in the united states okay. uh years a long time ago <laughs> but yeah, I was looking at Parker University in Texas, mm-hmm. in Dallas, Texas, Palmer in Florida, mm-hmm. and I believe it was Life also in, in Georgia. 
the school kind of started opening as I was finish, finishing my degree. Oh, so it kind of, exactly. Good and timing for you, yeah. I still, you know, I still had the medicine on my mind, but I also wanted chiropractic. But similar to vet school, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I, were, if I really wanted to leave the island. And, you know, my family see everything. And then when the school opened, I was like, let's try it out. Let's check it out. I studied, <laughs> I came, I spoke with everyone who was helpful, and I decided to apply. Very cool. So it was good timing. Yeah, that yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I'm just kind of curious, like, are there lots of chiropractors in Puerto Rico? And where do they, where do most of them go to school? Yeah, there are... I think most of them went in the United States. Yeah. New York probably is the most. NYCC, the most. Uh, Palmer, and Life, Life are the also. most famous since they're closer... They're on the East Coast, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's closer kind of... to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Right, right. Um, would that be closer than Florida? I'm not great at geography, no. so I don't know no, exactly. Florida, Florida's closer. Florida is. is the closest, yeah. Or like if we get a plane from here two, three to hours. two or three oh, so hours. It is, yeah, Depends. it's very close from by yeah. plane, yeah. 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 Okay, so the big question that I think a lot of students are going to be wondering is, can Americans go to school in Puerto Rico to become chiropractors? Yes, they can. Really? Okay. This yes. is, I'm noticing it's so much, it's becoming very popular, right, for medical students to go down to the Caribbean and, and do mm -hmm. their medical program. Um, so this is exciting that there's now going to be an option like that for chiropractic. Yeah. Yes. So we are a U.S. territory, so. Right. So do you uh, have any, board. any American students right now, like any, any U.S.? Uh, In the first class, no. In the first class, we're all Puerto Ricans, but me the mm. medicine has a lot, has some uh, American students. Cool. And American so, students. being a territory, like, I guess I don't totally understand. Um, so you guys are right. You're you're U.S. citizens. Yeah. Right. Being a territory. Yes. So, but but you're going to be governed separately as far as chiropractic is concerned, or do you take the national boards? Yeah, we take the same board. At, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yeah. But we still have to take our, our license here to practice in Puerto Rico. Right. So yeah. it's, it's basically just like another state. Exactly. Yeah. Every state has their own licensing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's so cool. Thanks for clarifying that. I think that's helpful for a lot of students. So one of my uh, roommates was from Puerto Rico. Um, nice. You went up to, to Oregon and um, yeah, I think... He didn't know about the school coming up, so I think it's cool to let other students know. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to learn a little bit more, um, you know, about how it progresses. Um, do you have many, you know, extracurricular programs right now, clubs for adjusting clubs and things like that? To be honest, I'm not perfectly sure, but the school itself has a lot of activities and clubs that the med students have been yeah. participating in. Are there we any sports teams or anything? Yeah, there's at least they do a lot of activities they do like and, and they small do small tournaments and yeah. everything where the school competes yeah. within okay. itself between them for pride. Yeah. So like intramural type exactly uh, yeah. sports. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. This is you know it's such a new program that most of the questions I like to ask. You got, you're just not, you know, there yet. You're not adjusting <laughs> yet, really. So, no. um, yeah, so it's going to be, you guys are going to be able to, like, start all the cool clubs and and really yeah. take control of, of how things at the school progress. Um, so, so far, so you're three blocks in. Um, if, if there's one thing you could change about the program so far, what would that be? I honestly don't have anything to say on that. I don't have any, anything. Co any complaints right now? Exactly. There's, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's no complaints. Yeah. About it. yeah. So everything's going cool. well. They're taking care of yeah. you as students. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a. It's a small college, so they are very. At least the administration is very, um, helpful. very helpful. Exactly. They're very. They know you, your name. They yes. Yeah, so it's very close. They call Everyone's you by your close. name, and you might have not even met them still. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so they know you, even though you don't know them. Yes. Exactly. So oh it's, man. It's really nice. It's really nice. Do you know how many students are in the in this program right now? 
in the chiropractic yeah, program? Yeah, the chiropractic program. We're 21 right now. 21. Oh, yeah, so it is a small small group. Yeah. So you guys get very close with your classmates. Yes, yes. Yeah, and with the things. professors. So I like it because it's kind of indivi- individualized. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like more personal. They, they have more ability to teach us because we're a smaller group mm-hmm. rather than a big group. So they have more time to either take us individually, like Laura said, or, right. or small groups and yeah. have more time with us. That's great. That's really good. Um, is there anything that you would like people to know about the school uh, that we haven't talked about or they may not know? Well, I have a small complaint, but it's... <laughs> oh, there it is something. There is nation. There's no gym. That's, oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's my only... Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's a big one. That, the school's pretty great. Mm-hmm. It's pretty great. No, I totally get that though. Like that was for so many students, you know, that I went to school with and that I, I see online, like going to the gym every day is huge. And sometimes it's, it's therapy. Yeah. And sometimes you can only do it during those breaks. Like I would go, you know, we'd have like hour classes with maybe a 10 minute break and I just go do a couple pull ups, um, you know, maybe do a couple squats, like just being able to do that is a great way to to get your mind off class and come back and refocus. So I totally get that. That'd be nice if they had one. Yeah, but the great thing of the school is that they listen, right? Because they were doing like a, some sort of questionnaire if the students would like a lounge for that is not study wise. It's more like relaxed time. And after a little while, they made it. It has a pool to play. It has sofas. So they've been doing the same with similar things like the gym. They've been asking around if people would attend. So the school listens to what the students want or need, which is really, I think, in, in at least in my opinion, it's really good. Yes. Very cool. Uh, I guess one other question I didn't ask is what, are, what language are the courses done in? Is everything in Spanish? Is there a mix? There's a mix. It's right a mix. now, anatomy is in English. And at least print, uh, chiropractic classes, they give it to us in Spanish, but the exams, the practical exams are in English because since the board right, you is in English, yeah, we got to prepare. And the exams are all in English. Really? That's so interesting. Yeah. yeah. Have you found that it's difficult to switch back and forth? No. At you, least not for for, for me, us now. No. Yeah, I mean, you get, your English you is good. You get used to it in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Do so, you? But I, I believe, yeah, some students it's been. Some students do, do have some problems. Some but problems. You, grow, you grow basically, you know, in Spanish and English by, the, by this time. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's pretty easy to just change. Like you start speaking Spanish and suddenly throw some English words in the mix and vice versa. Yeah, so very cool. All right. Well, that um, I think is kind of all the questions that I have and that I think, you know, students will be interested to learn. Now, do you know when is the next um, class coming in? When's the next group of students starting? Next in year. August. Yeah, August. So it'll be once a year that they can that you can enter the school. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Um, are you guys big on social media? Is there any, you know, anywhere you want people to find out more about you? If they want to get in touch, uh, yeah, there's uh, we have a, a Facebook page. Uh, it's from the UCC, so okay. it's the first class of of chiropractic in, in Puerto Rico. So mm-hmm. they can find us through UCC um, chiropractic class 2000, 2022, yeah. right? Yeah. Very That's cool. And I know. Uh, UCC's got Instagram, so I'll include links to those in the show notes for the listeners to find. And uh, Lauren Francisco, thank you so much for sharing this new school with us. It's going to yeah. be very You're cool to thank you for inviting learn us. more about Puerto yes. Rico. Thank you again for listening to another episode of Exploring Chiropractic. If you enjoyed the show, please head on down to the show notes where you can find links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
um, YouTube so you can follow and watch more of these interviews, watch or listen, please head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, whatever it may be where you listen or watch to this to these uh, episodes. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and share it with your friends if you know somebody who's interested in going to chiropractic school in the Caribbean or in internationally otherwise, um, or if you know someone who's uh, curious about chiropractic and wanting to learn what the education is like. As always, you can get in touch with me on any of those social media channels or by emailing me, contact at exploringchiropractic.com. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.